My childhood, I was adopted, and my parents are the complete opposite spectrum of me. So they like to go to museums and read books and learn all about science, and I like to ride roller coasters and go to the beach and play sports. And so growing up throughout high school, we kind of began to emerge into one. They started to want to go running and go on walks and go to the beach. And I started wanting to go to museums and read more about science. And so it was really nice to have that balance and know that um, you really can like get along with people that aren't your own genes as parents. I started playing volleyball when I was in third grade and I was riding horses at the same time and I love horses. They're so beautiful but I had to pick between volleyball and horses because they're both really time consuming. Probably in like sixth grade and I was a lot better at volleyball. I really just liked petting the horses. I wasn't really good at showing them so I picked volleyball and um, it taught me a lot about discipline and time management and handling school and practice. My coach in Austin used to coach at Oral Roberts University and so Shira came to say hi to her because Shira and her had a relationship and Shira saw me playing and um, I never even thought about playing volleyball in college. I was I think 14 or 15 at the time and when she approached me about it, um, it just opened so many doors and I really started looking into colleges and um, decided to come to Oral Roberts a couple years later. I visited a lot of other campuses and they were really beautiful and I really liked the coaches and I don't, I can't really pinpoint why I chose ORU. There was not like no specific, I know this is why I chose this school, but now that I've been here, it's almost like I knew I was supposed to be here, but I, I didn't know why. I used to want to do marine biology and Oral Roberts didn't have that. And I love uh, exercise science and I love marine biology. And so I was, and I love math. And so I was like, well, what, you know, incorporates all three of those. So I kind of just picked bio biomedical engineering, hoping I would like it. And I am absolutely in love with it and couldn't have picked a better major. It's really tough being a college athlete and not knowing what your body needs. We're told so many times by our coaches, by our athletic trainers, um, make sure you get enough rest, make sure you're eating enough, make sure you're drinking enough. But at the end of the day, we're all so different and each person needs a different amount of sleep, a different amount of water, a different amount of um, protein or whatever it is. And so I really want to be able to take uh, athletes, college athletes, and just people um, pursuing a healthy lifestyle to the next level and really um, giving them the right information that their body's telling them. Um, I grew up Catholic. I always had a faith base, but coming to Oral Roberts, my first year in chapel, I was so anxious standing up um, and like, raising my hands. Like That was never a thing that we were even thought to do in church and over the years it's just been amazing to um, the first time like I raised my hands I just felt so free and I felt so um, like open with God versus following rules it was more of a relationship and so being at Oral Roberts has taught me so much about um, Christianity isn't necessarily it's a religion it's more a relationship and so many people here show that by the way they walk by the way they talk it's all about caring about others and loving others versus um, just following these set guidelines. It was always about um, being selfless in every aspect. So even if it's in school, like yes, you're studying, but does the person next to you need a little help studying? Like do um, the person in line for your coffee, do they need the coffee a little bit more than you do like to buy it for them? Or there's always being selfless in every aspect of life, whether it be giving things, um, helping out in school, whether it be on the court next to your teammate, and encouraging them a little bit even when you feel really tired.